All right, team. I don't quite know where I'm going. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder... I don't think I'm quite ready to handle the Sky Bastards. But I would like to think so. I'm not sure, though. Um, and I'm also gonna, like, bring down my team a little bit here. Um... Yes, come on. It's hard to see Rolling Stone is just a gray rock, but... I'm doing this because... Too many of these gentlemen... Dude, I like how he's just not... Alright. Lump, I'm sorry, buddy. You... You're, you're enough. Alright, so you, buddy. Now you... Uh, you just look like a Terry to me, so we're gonna do Terry. We're gonna call you Terry. Um, instead of that, we're gonna let you. We're just gonna let you mine. Oh wait, I wonder if we could tractor beam a Sky Bastard down. That'd be pretty cool. We'll see. Um, you're gonna move by the ground. You're fireproof. You might as well have lightning rods since you're gonna be my one guy with me for the time being. Your enemies. Do we have Sky Bastard as an enemy? Yeah, we do. All right, and my allies are the hero, and so you should be able to be picked up also, so. All right, so you have a tractor beam in your mouth, and that's super weird and uncomfortable, but we need we need something to one-two punch it with you. So we'll put, um, we'll, we'll do this. We'll put you, um, yeah, hold on. Move by ground, attack with, I guess melee, or maybe mind swap would be better. He, he had some serious luck with that before, so... Special abilities are... Fireproof. Your enemies are... We're, we're, we're rolling for war against the Sky Bastards. That's what's happening. And your allies are just me. Alright, and then you can be picked up, because all my creatures should be picked up, just in case I need to unstick them. Alright, so here's the, here's the dream team. Um, it's Terry and... I don't know, I just keep calling you Mushroom Wizard, so maybe we'll call you Mushroom Wizard. All right, Mushroom Wizard, there. At least now I'm calling you by your name. It's kind of uncomfortable that rather than, you know, call him by his actual name, I just changed his name. But I guess that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? I like the ticker of all the stuff I just did. Yeah, all right, cool. All of that. I did all of that. All right, I want to hunker down. I want to pull a Sky Bastard out of the air. Here we go. Yeah, that's fine. We already read that. That's not where I want to go. Uh, excuse me, whirlybirds. Still need shots of you guys for evidence. Okay, this is going pretty well. I'm getting a whirlybird. I'm getting one of them. Oh, they just, they just wrecked him. <sighs> did he manage to kill one of the whirlybirds? Yeah, he did. He put his brain in a whirlybird. Oh, you're such a pro. Oh, get the other one. Get the other one. Sweet. Now get this guy bastard. Oh, is she? No. I gotta I... admit, boss. I wouldn't have thought of that. Ghost a bastard now. Why you still? What? Hello? Did I just get killed? I'm in god mode. Monster shouldn't see me. She said out loud like a crazy woman. <sighs> Better call my tea guy. Oh, hey, an IT guy. Okay, creepy. <laughs> a while? I could have you. Fu Remember, Coda, he works here hourly. He's a fan like you. E4. I don't know what that means. But there you go. Yeah, thanks. How'd you make your colors do that? Also, why? 
Leave the overworld and travel back to the public demo of the E4 game convention. There will be no turning back. Don't worry. Coda can't worry, boss. Coda can't see this. Um. No, see, I'm not quite ready yet. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. See, I want to edit this guy. Is that all I can do? Oh, no. Just hold Still done. Um, I want to actually take... Where's Mushroom Wizard? Oh, no, I could probably just take... Yeah, hold on. I need to clean up my mess before I go. All right, everybody over here, just real quick. Uh, Whirlybird? Give me everything you know. Bloop. Flight, that's what I wanted. Now. Uh, Mushroom Wizard, you're the one that's dead. You move by flight. Yeah, you've got all his other behaviors. All right, so... Do you want to be a whirly bird, or do you want to, like, go back to your real body? You know what? I think, I think, yeah, you, you can go back to your real body. I'll fill. Oh, see, the whirly birds are cool, but they're kind of messed up. Let's do Mushroom Wizard. You're my man. You, you might be annoying, but you're my man. Ground. Uh, attack with. For now, Mind Swap seems to be working for you, man. You've got a, you've got a thing going on. Fireproof. Your enemies are... I should make that back to nothing again, but that's okay. Um, you can be picked up. Okay. And then, yep, that's the one last thing I have to do. Terry should not pick fights with Sky Bastards unless he has to. And I'm also just going to give him his sword back for the time being. Alright. It is done. Now let's go. Let's go to the next area. I'll take it. Yeah, boy. back grand are you f <laughs> I don't have time to reboot here I'll just shut down and finish the demo at e4 I have to get to the expo hall before everyone anyway so <laughs> I think I just saw it take away my flight, but I'm not sure. Okay, E4 is happening, and I am calm. I'm hours late, and I'm still the first one here. Of course. Come on. No, I do not wish to calibrate the motion control camera. This is the backstage machine. Yes. I need the audio so I can, uh, think aloud. <laughs> This is our demo machine. This is our fastest box. Any day now. Calm down, Coda. It'll be okay. You made it. Well done. You are the most hardcore fans on the forums. I risk giving you early access keys because we need to work fast. You know the plan. Think of the man Starfather used to be. Make the demo good enough to fool him. Holy crap. That's oh, dude! What is she doing? Good. Now sign off and get in line. I need you in your seats. Coda, you did all this yourself. <laughs> you might get us best of show. Hey, you know, in the script, I've been calling the Messiah baby a son. Now I'm thinking, daughter. <laughs> I'll see you at E4. Yep. Just drive fast, okay? I have to start letting the crowd in over here. Where is my phone? Hello. Hey, yes. Connect me to security at the keynote auditorium. Okay, so they made a whole new thing. So, the God's Little Show is about making this world seem real, as long as you look but don't touch. But I know them. When they con that crowd out of yet more cash, they will get cold feet and start all over again. I'll be stuck here till the stars die. But... But, if we can monkey wrench their demo from the inside, shame them in public, the crowd might demand a new boss. Hint, hint. <laughs> Even a joke deserves an ending, right? Their big pitch to the press and all of their fans is on in five. Oh. Guests are to receive the VIP seats I specified. Press can sit with everyone else. Thank you. 
Got to take care of your friends. Got to take care of your friends. What does this say? Okay, right? one last test. Ish and Maze walk down the hall. Blah blah blah. Applause. He asks Maze for her fake baby, and then I just hit this. And every fan in the crowd bears witness to the complete game that was stolen from them. Toggle, toggle. Okay, ready. Hey. Hey, no, what's... That IT guy is an idiot. No, 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 why can't I move? Now it's moving on its own? Who's controlling this? Coda. Having some drops? The demo machine, it's... I, I'm not doing this. Yeah, dang, that's just crazy pants, Coda. Did, did you try turning on the motion control camera? No. You think it has to register the sword? Fine. Maze, what did you do? The controls will respond. <gasps> it's so cool. Ready, Coda? Or should I call you Star Daughter? Ew, no, withdrawn. Oh, listen to them. E4, the great Hydra is upon us. Now, Coda, you'll be back here on that demo machine in case anything goes wrong, right? Coda, something I need to know? No. Maze? No. Remember, Maze, play nice out there or I make the speech. And Coda retains your brand rights. Good grief. So. You wanted to show the world the old sci-fi look, then what? Pass out pitchforks? The stolen world was the ideal setting, but we can lose it if we must. You're the story, Maze. You say you stand for all players, but look, at least one has their own ideas, and now it's their turn. Maze, please. An imaginary friend? You were good once, near perfect. But we've run the theory craft on every possible state of play, okay? We are the fan community, and you gave us nothing but time. Now, we could abuse your brand, ruin your name, but we want to redeem you. Just play along, and when Ish asks for your fake baby to become the next Starfather, look him in the eye and put it to the sword. We've all heard him practicing the speech. He'll quit in disgust and pass on the magic circle to me, to us. Coda. The game industry straight up knifes a baby for PR? You say you're a fan, but this will kill the game. Whoa. Maybe all games. I never say this crap, but for real, do you even play? Honey, when this is over, I will teach you my game. But I don't think you would like it. It takes such a long time to play, and in the end, everyone wins. I know you're there, whoever you are. She doesn't see you as a threat. Thing is, if I get to that baby, and it's my only option, just don't make me take it. Looks like this demo starts with a hero. Not you, boss. A fake hero, walking through a castle to meet his royal baby. The intern wants her lady boss to murder that baby, live, on stage. But if the crowd sees that, I guarantee that this world gets shut down. And me with it. So, I'm gonna hide out in that baby's head to make sure it survives. You've come this far to help me. You'll find another way to bring the house down, right? Well, hello. Oh, I am super excited. I am super excited. All right, let's edit the hero. After these shows, um, you hmm? asks, under manual you control. Answer? Well, that's fine. Um, Starfather, what's up? So, what's up with Starfather? Can we mess with him? Starfather is under manual control. All right, so there's nothing we can do with them. Let's see. Oh, oop, uh, that's the wrong way. All right. Uh, movement. They can fly. All the guards can fly. No. What if we teleport other back to the? Ooh, that's interesting. All right, no, 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 no. Demo hero and Starfather. No, make it, make it Starfather. Let's try to kill Starfather, shall we? Allies, nothing. All right. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting pretty tense here. We're gonna just keep going. 
Thanks to her, your long wait is over. Kill Starfather. Oh no, he has an invulnerability flag. We have to kill the demo hero. I didn't think of that until now. We we heard them talk about that. I'm not ready. 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 Uh, that, uh, didn't know we were showing off combat tonight, Maze. But that's how you know that we're unscripted here, ladies and gents. <laughs> uh, hero. Perhaps you should slay any more of those we encounter. There seem to be traitors in your midst, and we cannot risk the life of the babe. Uh, before we greet the child of miracles, let's take another look back. Roll the, uh, the safety montage, please. <sighs> okay, so we, we, we've got, okay, we need to bring these guys back you to life. You sweating, boss. So now he's stalling, hoping the intern will fix everything before they get to the baby. But he managed to laugh it off to the crowd, and now the fake hero will kill any more of those that she sees. And she's cheating, so they'll die in one hit. Okay, I'm gonna give the baby some mind swap powers. Uh, no, I've got it. The baby, the baby teleports other people when you touch it. Um, it doesn't have to attack. That's fine. Um, enemies. Uh, the baby doesn't have any enemies. The baby doesn't need any enemies. The baby just needs to teleport you back, and then I have to exit quick, and I have to go back out here. Um. Edit guard. Uh, you, all you have to do, ugh, excuse me, is teleport others. So whenever they touch the baby, it'll teleport them back out. And then can I, I can't life you though. I think you're done. Where's, is there, I don't know if that'll work. Hmm. Huh. Wait, can we, nope. Starfather's logged in. We can't do anything with him. Edit the demo hero? No, wait. Oh, she's still under manual control. Where the hell? Can we put the guards back together? No, I guess not. Um. Then there's only one other thing I can think to do. And that is, yep, to make the baby fly away. Gaga. I'm the fake baby hmm. hero, I guess, and also physical evidence of Starfather's inverted daddy complex. Wah! Wah! I'm a fraud in diapers. Boss, do something drastic. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> there. It's going to repulse both demo heroes, and, and it's going to have nobody as its allies. There. I think we're ready to get back to the game. Now I know how you folks always feel. We arrive, hero. When this act is done, the world of the circle will never Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, baby. Not really, but this is me, heroically walking. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Yes. This isn't my story. Stop it. Don't you understand this is not a comedy? This is my life's work. You don't care about any of this, do you? You just here to leer at a train wreck. Who did this? I saw that whole thing from the baby's eye view. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't laughed in 15 years. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Coda, you? Why kill my baby other than to hurt me? I told you, your work is the great love of my life. 
I love it so much, I'm going to save it from you. Okay, Coda, that's enough. Call security? They think this is all just another PR stunt. But please, allow me. Coda? Are you threatening me with a toy laser beam? This is not a toy. This is a limited edition, molded resin Securitron figurine with inbuilt laser sight. You gave it to me when I was six. Don't remember? Best day of my life, till now. You handed one to each of us after we waited in line for days to see the Magic Circle's first gameplay demo. You know, the one set in space, which no one ever got to play. Incidentally, oh, man. many of those same people waited in line to be here today. As you said, the object I'm aiming at your heart is just a novelty collectible. But Ish, look. It's dark out there, in the crowd. How much are you willing to bet that all your fans are so harmless? Coda, the old man is scared of you now. Happy? Make your demands. This is an open letter from all of us. Lord Starfather, we will always love and remember you. We will take care to do your character justice. Ishmael Gilder, you failed us for 20 years. We have access to your sequel script, and right now, there exist five dozen superior works of fan fiction. We now do a better job of writing like classic you than you do. We want the magic circle made public domain. Let us finish the game and release it for free. We are your fans. <laughs> for 20 years, we supported you. We believed in you. And we deserved better. Now get the fuck out of our way. I see. At last, the player has spoken. Very well. The second I step off this stage, the magic circle is yours. All of you. Maze, Coda, and you. Yes, you. Whoever you are behind that screen, <laughs> I know what you are now. You are control itself. You are that which plays us all. <laughs> I can feel you there, hovering over the button to silence me forever. And why? Because we convinced you of your God-given right to do it. Well, what are you waiting for? Staying here means listening to an old man shout, Doom! And don't you need to get back to your story? Push it. I dare you. No? <laughs> well, then call this your moment of clarity. I couldn't do it. Because control is your opiate, my friend. And we got you hooked. Strung you out on the stuff for your entire waking lives. Maybe you think it matters what you play. No! Be it the gritty reboot of Cops and Robbers, or the pansexual mystery hour, it was we who offered it. A guilt-free alternative to all the gray and fathomless contours of the real goddamn world. Oh, we tell ourselves we're letting you seek meaning on your terms. Via the sublime grammar of experience, for decades we shouted games, goddammit. When the soul speaks, it is not stated, it is lived. But in truth, we just want an excuse to peddle a tame reality. A universe you can bring to heal. We tell you that, yes, you are the chosen one. Yes, you can achieve a perfect ratio of wins to losses. Yes, any problem of any scale can be solved with enough cash, time, energy. Any imbalance of power can be ushered into final equilibrium. And above all that, the world needs you to do it. You! To shepherd us to that ideal and optimal and ultimate endgame, the win which justifies all you have lost to reach it. <laughs> Even now, you don't see me. All you see is the latest time trial, the next puzzle challenge, the final boss. But it was I who tempted you to take control, and now you have. So I lost the right to be shocked when over 20 years I announced some trivial change to my life's work and you sent death threats to my door. What right do I have to cry foul now 
when you rise up as one to simply solve me. So what now? Should I say you win? Congratulations. When at last you push that goddamn button and seize control of my story, someone will sell you the next. The time we've stolen will never be recovered. That void in you, which was meant to contain your life on Earth, remains. And that's it. It's over. <laughs> They've all filed out. It's just you, me, and the invisible wall. Well then, you're in charge now. Push the button. Fill in the blanks. What do I do next? Push the button. Tell us how it all ends. Push the button. Come on, this is euthanasia now. Just hit that goddamn button. You want me to <laughs> beg? Fine. I beg you, don't make me stand here alone, floating in this loveless vacuum, wondering when the final tether will snap, please. Please, just push the damn button. Push the button!